Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Gaming. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the sound and the microphone issues you're having in Black Ops 6. So if you're on the PC, this could be relatively easy. So just on the home screen, we want to go on down to the start menu here and select this and go to settings and then open this up. Then go on down to system and then go to the right and let's select sound. Now when we're under here, we want to make sure our output device is our speakers or our headset or whatever we want to be the output. So just select them. I'm using the Realtek R audio right here. I don't have my headset or anything on. And then just make sure the volume is set correct. If it's down to zero, you're not going to hear anything. So I got mine like 90 or something right here in the settings. And then we can go on down to the input. And this is going to be our microphone. Uh, choose the correct microphone. So maybe it switched over to your Elgato capture card by accident or something. And that's why you can't speak to anyone. Make sure you have your correct microphone, your headset mic on here. I have the Blue Yeti selected and you can see myself talk and I can increase the sound of my microphone by sliding it back and forth right here. Now we can go on down to the advanced section and we got all sound devices we can go to and we can see everything that's plugged into our computer. And if you don't see your headset under here, you probably have to reconnect it under Bluetooth. Or if you got one of those USB dongles, reset your headset, restart it, and then replug it back in. But then we want to open up the volume mixer. And under here, there is a cool little setting. If you got Call of Duty opened up under apps, well, you can just go to Call of Duty specifically. So let's go to Steam, for example. I can select the output and the input device just for the application. So let's select my speaker and then microphone for Blue Yeti. So you could do this for Steam and you could do this for Call of Duty as well. And then at the top, you could probably do this as well. So we got speaker and microphone for Blue Yeti and we should be good there. Now let's back up and then go to the more sound settings right here and open this up. And then we're going to drag this little window over mm -hmm. here where we have the option for playback. Now let's find our speakers under here and it might be a little bit difficult because I've got a lot of different devices connected, but I can see my Realtek audio device right here. So this is probably going to be your headset. Find this and then go to where it says set as default. And then you could also go to the properties and there could be a setting under here that might make a difference. And I don't have all the settings that you may have. So you can go to the levels, increase the levels here. You got the audios. You can go to a different uh, default format. Then you got the spatial sound right here. And like I said, you might have something in here. I don't. Then we want to go on over to recording and we want to find our microphone under here. So where is it? Blue Yeti. We can go to set as default and then we can go to properties and look through the different properties for this. And we could listen to our device too. If we want to hear what it sounds like, we can go to listen to this device. And then here's the levels. Maybe your level is just too low. You can increase it right here. And then we got the different uh, formats as well. So we can go in here and then go to OK. And like I said, um, you should also restart your computer if you're still having issues. Maybe unplug it from the wall outlet, unplug your speakers, and you restart your headset, and just do a quick reboot of everything and see if that works too. And then we can go back on over to Call of Duty. And there could be something in Call of Duty that's causing the issue as well. Since we're on the home screen, uh, check out your uh, your party right here. Go to your party and make sure nobody is muted. So. This includes yourself. So you could be going over your name and you could be accidentally muting yourself or you could be muting the game lobby before you even start up the match. So if you're in a pregame lobby, I think if you hit like R2 or L2 or something like that, you have the option to mute everyone. So just a heads up that you're not accidentally doing that. And if I'm under this screen right here, I can press L2 button on my controller. I can bring up the proximity chat and you can press X on it and you can delete or turn off the proximity chat from here and make sure you have it selected to all lobby if you want to hear everyone in the lobby. Otherwise, if you said to friends only, you, you're probably not going to be able to speak to everyone. So if you're jumping around to different like groups and stuff like that, make sure you have the proper setting under here and proximity chat is turned on. Uh, you're not muting yourself and you're not muting one of your friends by accident. So just go over their name, just double check make sure they don't have a mute symbol on their name. Now let's press the options button and then go on over to the social menu. And we can do the same thing under here. It looks like it's not opening up, but let's have on over to this game channel right here where we can see all our different voice chats. Uh, make sure you have this enabled. 
So if you're in here and you have this disconnected and not enabled, you're not going to be able to speak to people in that party. So if you're trying to speak to someone in the private chat here, make sure this is enabled. You can see MW2C team or something I have. And then here's the game lobby right here. Make sure you're connected. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to hear anyone. OK, so we got that. Now let's have on over to settings and go on down to audio. Make sure the master volume here is up enough so you can actually hear the game. For me, I have game music all the way down because I hate hearing that when I'm playing. Got the effects volume up, cinematic music all the way down. Dialogue is set to like 40. So make sure you uh, adjust that accordingly. Then we can go to the audio mix. We can try a different audio mix. Uh, maybe the voices or something are low. We can go to voice boost or headphone bass boost or something like that. Try a different mix. See if that makes a difference with your setup. And then we got the mono audio right here. I don't know if you're set up, you have mono audio or not, but you can turn it on or off right there. And then we can go on down and look at the rest of the sound settings. But the most important thing is to tab on over to the voice chat and increase the sound of the voice chat volume. Maybe this is too low so you can't hear anyone. Bump it up. Then we can disable all these settings and reapply them and see if this works. For some reason, last word voice chat is always turned off for me. And then once again, we have the game voice chat channel set to all lobby. If you want to hear people in the game, uh, party only, friends only, etc. And then we can go down to the microphone level. You can increase the microphone in the game right here. Then you can test out your microphone and see if this works. And hey, everyone. And hopefully it does. And then we got the open mic sensitivity since I'm on the PlayStation on the keyboard and mouse. You should have like push to talk or something like that. And yeah, let's turn this off. Now that we got this all set up, we can tab on over to account and network. And if you have cross-play communications turned off and you're trying to speak to someone on the Xbox or the PlayStation 5, uh, you're not going to be able to hear them if you have that turned off. So just double check to make sure that's turned on. Then another thing is maybe you blocked one of your friends. So go to block players and make sure you don't have anyone blocked under here. And then we can go on down and we got text chat. And then we got the rest of the options down here. So just double check everything. And I hope this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. If did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also under the Bluetooth options here, you could find your device and you could try deleting it and then re-adding it. So you can see I have everything under here, like my Xbox wireless controller. I can just go to the three little dots here and then remove it and then completely re-add it by going to add device, go to Bluetooth and then reconnect it. And hopefully this could help you as well.